The mobile launcher is a transportable launch base and umbilical tower for the space vehicle. Three mobile launchers were used at Launch Complex 39. The launcher base is a two-story steel structure, 25 feet high, 160 feet long, and 135 feet wide. It is positioned on six steel pedestals, 22 feet high, both in the VAB and at the launch pad. At the launch pad, the launcher was also stiffened by four extendable columns designed to counter rebound loads if the Saturn engines cut off. The umbilical tower, extending 398 feet above the launch platform, is mounted on one end of the launcher base. A hammerhead crane at the top has a hook height of 376 feet above the deck. The 12 million pound mobile launcher stands 445 feet high when resting on its pedestals. The launch vehicle sits over a 45 foot square opening which allows an outlet for engine exhaust into the launch pad trench containing a flame deflector. This opening is lined with a replaceable steel blast shield independent of the structure and is cooled by a water curtain initiated two seconds after liftoff. There are nine hydraulically operated service arms on the umbilical tower. These service arms support lines for the vehicle umbilical systems and provide access for personnel to the stages as well as the astronauts to the spacecraft. On Apollo 11, one of the service arms is retracted early in the count. The Apollo spacecraft access arm is partially retracted at T minus 43 minutes. A third service arm is released at T minus 30 seconds and a fourth at about T minus 16 seconds. The remaining five arms are set to swing back at vehicle first motion. The Apollo access arm, service arm 9, located at the 320 foot level above the launcher base, provides access to the spacecraft cabin for the closeout team and astronaut crews. The flight crew boards the spacecraft starting at about T minus two hours, 40 minutes. The Apollo 11 vehicle is secured to the mobile launcher by four combination support and hold down arms mounted on the launcher deck. The hold down arms are cast in one piece, about six by nine feet at the base and 10 feet tall, weighing more than 20 tons. Damper struts secure the vehicle near the top. After the engines ignite, the arms hold Apollo 11 for about six seconds until the engines build up to 95% thrust. The arms release on receipt of a launch commit signal at the zero mark in the count. The vehicle is prevented from accelerating too rapidly by controlled release devices. The six million pound transporters move mobile launchers into the VAB and mobile launchers with assembled Apollo space vehicles to the launch pad. They are also used to transport the mobile service structure to and from the launch pad. Two crawler transporters were constructed and are still used today to transport space shuttle vehicles. Maximum speed of the transporter is about one mile per hour loaded. The three and a half mile trip to pad A with Apollo 11 took about six hours. The transporter has a leveling system designed to keep the top of the space vehicle vertical within plus or minus 10 minutes of arc, about the dimensions of a basketball. The system also provides leveling operations required to negotiate the 5% ramp, which leads to the launch pad and keeps the load level when it is raised and lowered on pedestals. The transporter moves on a roadway almost as broad as an eight-laned highway and is designed to accommodate a combined weight of about 18 million pounds. The roadway was built in three layers with an average depth of seven feet. The base layer is two and a half feet of hydraulic fill. The next layer consists of three feet of crushed rock. The top is covered with a cover of river rock, eight inches deep. 